Hello, my name's Richard. This, this is We're Not Wizards, I think. And this is Yukio from Walnut Games, which is coming to Kickstarter or on November 3rd. Um, it's an 18 card kind of puzzle game. And, um, hmm, yes, I'm going to show you how to play it. Some kind like that. And nice. Over there. Go on. So as you play Yukio, you'll be laying down cards and they can overlap horizontally, vertically, but obviously not diagonally. And you've got to stay within the confines, which is you've got to stay within the confines of a 6x6 grid. It doesn't matter, as long as everything's within a 6x6 grid, you can kind of complete, keep playing your cards until you get down to the point where you've got like one card left. And then you're trying to uh, basically make sure that you fulfill this requirement. So this is, says completely fill the 6x6 six six grid. So if you've done that, then you would have won the game. There might be another one. A vertical or horizontal line of four flowers. So you would check that. And do we have a, a, a vertical horizontal line of four flowers? And maybe we didn't. You know, obviously if we'd played this card, then the answer to that would be would be yes, we would have. Um, and the game kind of continues. Um, it plays really quickly. I mean, you can pretty much have a game played within kind of all of five minutes if you really want to. Um, but what do we think? Something very, very nice about being able to pick up a deck of cards and know that you have in your hand the entire potential of what a game has to offer and yet you're not going to end up spending the next three hours having to learn the game in order to get anything out of it. And there was the unusual aspect of the fact that the win conditions will be changing on a game on a game to game kind of basis. And depending on the cards that you have in your hand, that can potentially change your strategy. So as you're playing, you could maybe be going for like a three, three by two grid of certain certain uh, symbols, and then you discover that your your um, opponent has laid down a different card, and then you're cursing inside with hate and liquid magma roaring through your heart. But that doesn't matter. Um, the theme is the theme. I mean, this could be anything at all. I mean, it could be fruit. Um, it could be different types of washers. It could be colours of the rainbow. It could be anything at all. The main thing is it kind of fits in, um, and it's quite. It's just quite calming. Yeah, you're not going to be in a big rush. This isn't. This is a game that you're going to play nice and slowly, and stare into your opponent's eyes. As you all lay down the cards one after another in the attempt to win, which is kind of nice. Um, the solo mode's actually quite interesting because very rarely, normally, a solo mode, especially on a game of this size, is usually beat your score. Whereas in this, because the challenge is again based around the, the various kind of win conditions which are forced upon you, then the solo mode can differ from game to game and it can actually be quite a challenge because because the 18 cards are enough to kind of bring in some kind of randomness into the game so yes while it might not get to the table an awful lot in terms of maybe multiplays I'd certainly be surprised if you don't kind of bring it out and again and again for just a quick solo play just to see kind of how you've challenged it and um, in the designer Ian um, has, you know, he's kind of given you quite a range of tasks that you have to complete in solo mode. It's not going to be kind of tacked on. It's kind of been added in with, with some kind of thought. Um, as with a game of this size, the 
it's not going to cost an awful lot when it comes to Kickstarter. The rumours that I've heard is going to be well below £10 um, for an 18 card game as well. So that is, so that is fine. Look, it's not tactically deep, it's not going to blow your socks off, but if you're looking for something that's like a decent filler game, that um, in all honesty I hadn't seen this type of win condition before on a game, so that's kind of very unusual and that's why I'm drawn to it and that's why I'm taking the time to to make you guys aware of it as well. So that is Yukio from Walnut Games, as I say it's coming to Kickstarter the beginning of November which is very soon indeed. I believe it might be now by the time you're watching it. So my name's Richard. This is We're Not Wizards. If you like what you've watched then um, just stick a comment below. It could be anything at all. Tell us. Tell us about your favourite pair of socks. It's fine. You know. Woolen ones, thick ones. Do that. And also like and subscribe. And also check out the link below for the Kickstarter for this little game that you can cuddle and not hurt your back. So that's my name's Richard, this is We're Not Wizards. Remember, stay safe, roll sixes, and make something awful. But until the next time... <laughs>